All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Octopath Traveler. And we're coming at you today with what do you do after you've completed the story mode? So basically, what is the current end game that we have going on in Octopath Traveler? We have plenty of other stuff that's coming down the road. But if you're looking for what are you going to do after you've just completed the, uh, the base story modes in the game, uh, you need to be preparing for when the arena drops or just further along story modes. And so this is what you'll be doing. You'll basically get uh, sent to a new town here and they're gonna go over how to upgrade armor, but you're gonna need very specific armor for that, which can be found from some path actions. So of course you wanna you know talk to everybody in town for that. I've got most of my ones that I have for free, but you can also um, go around and kill the elites and be able to pick up these uh, uh, these recipes for increasing your uh, innocent weapons. So uh, basically, you can go in here and you can go ahead and buy the ones that you can't find with path actions. And then the there's different smithies that'll be able to upgrade. See so here, I can upgrade my spear to spear level two and be able to put that down here on my spear lady. So I can do that, and it's gonna uh, you know upgrade the elemental attack on it. And that's great, so boom. And that's where you're going to be able to upgrade your weapon. So, of course, getting those mats, you're just going to be killing the elites around uh, this new town area. Uh, and uh, farming like you normally would for any other armor or anything like that. So, uh, you're definitely just going to upgrade your gear to all the innocent level, your weapons to innocent level. And then you you know, going to take the weapons and go ahead and put them at plus two and then up to eventually plus three. So that's essentially where we're at for in-game. However, there's also some really um, intense fights called the Battle Tested Fights. And they're going to give you uh, an upgraded piece of, uh, of weaponry for the different eight types. So like here's an example of the bow. And the stats here are going to be better than the innocent stats uh, that, that we currently have on, on the weapons there. So this is kind of like the in-game area. As a side note editing here, I do want to point out that these battle-tested fights are extremely difficult. And currently I think we only have access to four out of the eight. Uh, but you're going to have to go in there and kind of play around and identify the weakness. Because uh, I'm not going to give you the spoilers here. If you want it, you can search around. I'm sure there's a Reddit thread somewhere about it. But uh, you're going to identify the weaknesses. A lot of time they only have two. And you're basically going to be playing a fight of uh, bringing the, the units that can uh, you know, take care of those weaknesses. And just running the battle to making sure that you don't just get one shot by these, uh, uh, by these high end units. So it's definitely doable. And you can see some, uh, some other spoiler videos out there. I didn't want to give those because I do think they're the highest level challenges that we have right now. And I don't want to give away all the fight stuff. I, I'm just going to tell you it's just like every other fight. They are doable, but you're going to have to figure out the weaknesses and then use units to exploit those weaknesses. So just to kind of. Uh, you know, take you through the process. You're going to get through the story mode. After that story mode, the uh, you know, quest sign is going to naturally take you to this new town. When you get here, you're going to just kind of farm the elites and whatnot, do all your path actions, and then, you know, completely kit out all of your, uh, you know, units with the innocent armor, the innocent weapons, and then you want to get to the point with your, uh, um, with your gear and your you know, team that you can take on these battle test fights. And that's going to be kind of where we're, you know, the limit of how strong you're going to be able to be, uh, to become right now. Uh, of course, you know, you'll be still doing your hunts and leveling up. And then that's basically how we're going to prepare for the arena fights, which are going to be really important to be able to, uh, take those out and be able to obtain the free unit that comes with winning the arena. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know, the, that's what we're looking forward to, uh, you know, currently for the end game, and that's the progression we're at. And if you have any questions, please post them below, and that's been my two cents.